Well, everybody, I am going to do what I promised I was going to do. I'm giving you a Cabo Cruiser video update, and we're going to make this like a big old deluxe update video, too. We're going to try to cram everything into one, really. Now, as you can see, I'm working on my YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked that video out, <laughs> wow. That was a pretty cool video, and these three are all rather offensive and harsh, but they're all pretty good. They came from my heart. Also, if you've noticed, everything's turned around. You notice that? Everything is backwards, and I got my recliner in. And I took out the couch. The subwoofer. I don't know if I'm going to leave it that way, or turn it that way, or that way, or if I'm going to move that one over here, or over there, or that one over there. That, just, oh, I put them anywhere I want as soon as I make some cables and wires. But uh, I got one of my speaker, main speakers like that out. So I got to go out in the shed and go get a woofer and build me a speaker out of it. So I'm just using the JBLs in the stereo right now. Uh, and of course we got the birds, the wonderful little birds. And uh, oh yeah, Let's get not get get too far ahead of myself, huh? Now, oh excuse me, but yeah, look at that. How about that? A recliner. So, something else we're gonna do. Oh, by the way, again. Just so you know, I really am working on this. See that video right there? Trailering, taking to the next level? Well, I'm uploading that right now. That's why it's gray on the screen. It's probably going to be up in another hour or two. And this one is going to be a long video. It's going to take two or three or four hours to upload. And I might even do some campfire and editing in. So it might not even make it ready for view till the morning. But, yes sir. We have got some fresh limage, plenty of cardboard, plenty of paper, some of these old logs, but that's a fresh patch. That's what I pulled out on a tractor. And something else you'll see on that, uh, that trailering taking to the next level video. Look what I got working. I finally got those wheels cleaned off and sanded down. Well, I didn't really take sanding down, but polished down there full of tire slime and gunk. Bought some brand new. Look at these jokers. Carlisle. Where it is rating. There it is. Four ply rating. 70 PSI. I'm convinced the wheels won't even hold that much, so I'm leaving it at 30. But yeah, man, I haven't got to use this thing in a few years. I will say two things. I'm going to, uh, so a few things I really do want to improve on it though. There's like, what, a $250 trailer? I don't know what, 10 years ago? But, uh, and I noticed my dad's trailer got this, these little deals come out and these metal hooks that come down and go like this, one on each side to keep this thing from wanting to keep bending out like this. Um,. And uh, I've already kind of working on this with his, but this isn't the most solid thing. In fact, his is kind of rusted out right here. And uh, his is a single tray, I think, so he doesn't have a support in the center. So, we just, so I just took a two-by and put it up in here. But, you know, he's already got a short little trailer set. It takes up room. But if I catch all these problems and touch it up and repaint it before that rust gets too bad... I don't see why that thing can't last forever. It's a wonderful little trailer, and of course, you know, and in fact, you can even run a cable to it. I just noticed. But you can run a cable to it and you click. Bing! Ha 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 ha. Oh, I guess that's a little out of adjustment. Eh, figures. But, the star of the show. Yeah, I still gotta put the fender back on.
but the star of the show. Let's see. I got an idea. Just stick with me. I got an extra charger in here with a couple of extra ex little extension cords so that uh, just in case I always got I'm always ready Sorry, I didn't think the camera angles through too good. And honestly, this is working pretty good. I just, I want to tilt it up just a little tiny bit more. But I just, I can't get the angle right, so you just have to deal with it, everybody. Now you tell me that thing don't run. <laughs> and yes, the dashboard does work, by the way. Oop, I got a friggin' scraggler. But anyway, yeah, the dashboard does work. Uh-oh, I can't get through there anymore. See, 37 kilometers an hour. You can't tell me this thing ain't doing the original speed. It's not working on it. Brake light, by the way. Hold the throttle, hit brake. Boom, there goes the motor. Boom, there goes the motor back on. Ha, ah, see? Don't make a thing on the thing. That ain't the same boat. I just off my own float bike, the one that I got stolen and then recovered from all the addicts. Remember the video? Ha ha ha, addicts, I got you. Well, guess what? It paid off. I saved myself almost $300 because I had a hub motor and, and all the shipping time and, and, and waiting for the budget to get ready and everything else, man. Just all I had to do was just put my mind to it. That's it. That's all I had to do. Pretty downright cool, huh? Hey, 
And see, I go right through everything. It's just got to be good at it. This is not for the for the timid. There we go. There you go. The camera. Where? Yeehaw. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Who else going to do crazy shit like this on a dirt road? On a, a street electric bike? <laughs> That's 25 plus about 23 miles an hour. But he's also being a genius. And there, I think I just covered all six of my channels right there. <laughs> so, all I can say is just like, share. Oh, yeah. Right. One more day. Keep on going. Let's see what it looks like riding around up here. I ain't really taking this bike out over here. Remember that pile? Look at it. It's gone. That's all that left of it. Ooh, see, look at this thing. Just not all bogged down and everything. But it's still moving. And I ain't got my feet down or nothing. This just tell me this ain't a great bike, man. Tell me it ain't a great bike, man. You can get them online. Cabo Cruisers. Gotta get them. Gotta collect them all! <laughs> <coughs> well, thank you, old bike. I still got some parts I, I can use off you over time. But man, what a lifesaver. All that work, all that trouble. Remember all that stuff I did? Like, you know, the, the half, sorry if that's all of my face, having to get the police involved. And, and trying to set it up so the guy would think I was gonna buy it from him while I was getting the police ready to go over there and go get it. And all that craziness, uh, he wouldn't sell the bike. And, 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 and man, just making sure I stuck with it. And then first thing I did when I got the bike off the property was get that hub motor here. Oh, smart, man. And then, yeah, woo. Oh, let's do one more thing. Just, man, we've gone almost everywhere else in my little, little arena let's go one more place I should have bought my selfie stick <laughs> I uh, we got a huge downpour at 430 in the morning this morning I did a thorough inspection from corner to corner not a single drip drop or wet spot right now It's going to probably need some maintenance here, though. I imagine by the end of the year. This little setup I got going on over here is working out pretty good. And if I can figure out how to straighten it out up over here on the door, because you see how the tarp kind of just wants to go just a little too far over the door for me to be able to just, you know, strap it down right. And, uh, but I'm thinking since this is going to be end up being like a cartridge replacement system, so you can already see sometimes that fire likes to touch that thing and eat it up a little bit. Um, so this actually might not be a good idea in the long run. I don't know. But anyway, uh, put a little, like a bolt right there or, or a stud, not a bolt. Cause that's a bolt right there. And that's the problem I'm having. I can't just slip the thing over that fucking head and use that. And it's in a bad spot this way. But if I take that idea, then I just put it here, fold it over, and just strap that side down and leave that side alone. And yeah, I could do something like that. Because I want to try to keep that foam there at least this year to see how good it does for insulation. If it that foam works out real good as insulation, you know, I might have to look into filling the ceiling up with it or something. I don't know. I, I guess what I really should do is just Build a roof over it, really. Just yeah, we'll see. But anyway, oh, cool. We're right at 15 minutes. <laughs>